I didn't tell you that I was going to do that, but I know. I thought if you, I did tell you, you'd say, don't do that. So that's why I didn't tell you. It's not lying if it's just omitting. <laughs> All righty. This person has been instructed in Christian faith and desires to make public affirmation of her baptism. Kaylin Jade Lichtenwald. Please come on up. Say pastor. Dear friend, we rejoice that you now desire to make public affirmation of your faith and assume greater responsibility in the life of our Christian community and its mission in all the world. My dear sister in Christ, in holy baptism, our Lord Jesus Christ received you and made you members of his church. In the community of God's people, you have learned from his word God's loving purpose for you and all creation. You have been nourished at his holy table and called to be a witness to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, therefore, I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church, the faith in which we baptize. Do you renounce all the forces of evil, the devil, and all his empty promises? If so, answer, I do. Okay, I um, am on page 199. Or you maybe know your, this by heart. Well, it, it, <laughs> I'm going to break the Apostles' Creed up into three sections and ask three separate questions, so you have to know when to stop. Okay? Kayla so, uh, knows that she's prepared, but in case y'all wanted to help yeah. us, and she's the one single voice on her own. So the Green Hymn Book, page 199, in the middle of the page. Y'all. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for those who are affirming, she who is affirming her baptism, and for all the baptized everywhere that she may be redeemed from all evil and rescued from the way of sin and death. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may open her heart to your grace and truth. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. That she may be kept in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, in your mercy that she may be sent into the world in witness to your love. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. That she may be brought to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Caleb. You have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism? To live among God's faithful people, to hear his word and share in his supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of our Lord Jesus and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth? If so, answer, I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, through water and the Spirit, you have made this young woman your own. You forgave her all her sins and brought her to newness of life. Continue to strengthen her with the Holy Spirit 
and daily increase in her the gifts of grace, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord. Amen. Can you kneel? Oh, we step. Father in heaven, for Jesus' sake, stir up in Kalen Jade Lichtenwald the gift of your Holy Spirit. Confirm her faith, <clears throat> guide her life, empower her in her serving, give her patience in suffering, and bring her forth to eternal life. Amen. Can you stand and face the congregation? Can we show Kaylin a proper welcome? Let's get up and share some love and peace.